Horse quality hay, in my opinion, is uh, a term that's thrown around way too much. Honestly, it should be called horse owner quality. The customer is the one buying the hay, not the horse. My name is Nathan Mills. I live on Hidden Acres Farm here in Donaldson, which is a suburb of Nashville, Tennessee. I grew up raising Tennessee walking horses with my granddad. We raised seven world grand champions on this place. At Hidden Acres, we board horses for other folks. You have to be more sympathetic to the customer as opposed to raising your own stock. My name is Marshall Mills and I'm Stable Boy. Uh, stable Boy uh, makes sure that mama and baby are fed and their stalls are cleaned and turned out. My boss is my father. Um, I just get paid by uh, having a good life here on the farm. It really helps to, to have been brought up in that background of being very knowledgeable about horses. People understand their horse is in good hands. We use a lot of hay here, but basically the majority of what I put up is for sale. And they're feeding some high-end places, you know, some, some more expensive horses. Here in Middle Tennessee, we're so fortunate to have really good quality grass and it's a mixed native grass. I've never sown hay. Mother Nature gives us the hay. We are in the city, and there are several challenges that go along with that, but this is home. I hope to be here for, you know, the rest of my days. I, I hope my son wants to continue what we do here for the rest of his. When I grow up, I want to be a world grand champion like my father was. I can't like stop smiling. Yeah, uh, Massey is number one. Yeah. <laughs> they make a great product. I run a 4710. Uh, we've got a 583 got a 2615 and a 2605H. We've got 1838 square baler. You use an inline baler, your bales are gonna be a lot tighter and a lot better quality. The inline 1838 baler is crucial to making the perfect bale. Every single bale is like a solid brick. With a inline, everything's just going straight back. The tight, consistent, solid bales it is practical for the transportation of hay on the road, especially around here with all the people, all the traffic. You can't lose hay on the road. Bales that flake apart easy in consistent flakes are easier to portion out. The wide pickup is very important to me. The baler and the tractor work together so smooth. 4710 obviously has more than enough power to run that baler and to run it smooth and easy. Loading bales in the field on the trailer, you know, when it takes a lot of finesse and when you're in intricate uh, movements and having to move just slightly here and there you know that transmission is key but if you're trying to sell a lot of hay if you're trying to transport a lot of hay if you're trying to make bales that uh, people are proud to look at you got to have the inline baler it's there's no comparison